welcome back guys uh, we are talking about serial dilution in this video and serial dilution is a very important method to dilute a sample sample let's say if you are if you want to culture a bacteria from a huge mixture of uh, reservoir for example the reservoir like soil it is filled with many different types of bacteria now what we need to do we need to take a soil of from from uh, we need to take the soil which is filled with bacteria and we make a mixture of that soil into sterile water and what we else we'll do we we'll just take that and we want to dilute that mixture why because it is filled with bacteria so if we plate it if we put it into the agar plate or nutrient agar it will end up with giving us huge amount of colonies uh, so many number of colony that we cannot deal with properly so for dealing those colonies properly what we need to do we need to we need to rely on we need to take uh, let's let me take a color here first okay so wha what we need to do we need to look for uh, say we need to dilute those culture right uh, one minute actually there's a technical fault i need to s resolve it. anyways so what we need to do the most important thing the first thing about serial dilution that what we need to do here is we need to prepare the mixture now let's say here in this case we just take soil soil in our hand so we just put the soil into water or or let's say just we just weigh the soil so we can weigh the soil for let's say example 1 gram so we take 1 gram of soil and we just take it and put it into 9 ml of broth broth means nutrient broth or urea broth whatever type of broth we are taking so nutrient broth is there 9 ml we are putting 1 gram which is equivalent to kind of 1 ml of thing so 1 gram of soil onto 9 ml of broth to make a solution now remember this everything broth and every these things are sterile and and the container where we put the soil must be sterile these things are sterility is maintained throughout the place but what we'll do we take 1 gram or 1 ml uh, and put it into the 9 ml so ultimately now it's becoming 10 ml of the whole mixture now from this 10 ml you know that this is very much dense very much uh, it's filled with soil and soil bacteria so if we take this solution and, and, and if, if we plate this one if we plate this one via the poor plate method because remember the easiest technique and the most convenient way to get uh, colonies from this huge number of mixed bacterial culture is using poor plate technique so we can use poor plate method and if we do the pure plate method from this particular container it will give us huge number of colonies to deal with now similarly what we need to do to, to remove the load of bacteria what we need to do we need to use this serial dilution technique now this process is obviously we need to dilute our sample or concentration serially from one container to another container and it is going on like this we take 1 ml from this 10 ml container and put it into the 9 ml of another nutrient broth which is again free so it is again remember 1 ml from this huge hugely crowded culture and put it into the 9 ml of that so 1 ml from here 1 ml from here put it into the 9 ml it's very very bad as as you can see some problems are going on there anyways and then this is becoming so uh, when we start once we start here so th in the very first container there is 9 ml of broth 1 ml of the soil so actually uh, the container is 10 to the power minus 1 this is the concentration now we are taking 1 ml from this container putting it into the next one which is becoming 1 in 100 and that means 10 to the power minus 2 then we take 1 ml from this container putting it into the next one it is becoming 1 in 1000 so it is becoming 10 to the power minus 3 similarly we are taking up 1 ml and putting it into the next uh, sterile uh, nutrient broth containers and what it is doing actually it is diluting our uh, load of bacteria right or diluting our sample which is consisting of huge number of bacteria so you can see from 10 to the power minus 1 we are diluting it to 10 to the power minus 6 and as we are going towards this direction we are diluting our sample now as you can see if we play it from each of those containers you are going to find too many number of colonies in the first two 10 to the power 1 and 10 to the power 2 uh, plates so we are not going to use this for future purpose usually people rely on uh, 10 to the power 4 5 and 6 this three actually from 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 5 uh, 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 5 concentrations because you can see from 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 5 we are getting really desirable amount of colonies desirable number of colonies right so you can see 10 to the power minus 3 is giving us 159 colonies and 10 to the power minus 4 is giving 17 10 to the power minus 5 is giving us 22 colonies 
so it is actually easy for us to 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 watch the number of colonies to get the idea of the colony we are getting and the colonies are pretty much isolated so we can take them and we can make the pure culture from them it's very easy to do that and another thing that uh, once you're diluting this stuff if you are calculating this dilution factors which is this 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and all these things once you know this you can really calculate the total number of microorganisms present in your soil that's actually possible for example here if you take this uh, dilution factor of 10 to the power minus 3 and if you look at this plate it is giving us the colony of 159 right so the plate count means the number of colonies we found find in the plate which is 159 and we multiply it with a dilution factor and here the dilution factor remember 10 to the power minus 3 so the dilution factor is 10 to the power 3 because the concentration is 10 to the power minus 3 that means it is 1 divided by 10 to the power 3 isn't it that means this is the dilution factor and it will give us the total number of colonies present in the actual original sample which is the soil so here we find that 1.59 into 10 to, 10 to the power 5 cells per milliliter of the original sample because we take 1 ml of that sample remember so that's the way to calculate the total number of bacteria load that is present in original sample as well as to get desirable amount of colonies and to deal with them so serial dilutions are important guys they're required in many aspects and especially most of the time for the soil microbiology. So that's it guys, thank you.